shot after her great birdie that's just brought her back in. It's the uh, second or third time, I think, uh, during this round that she's kissed a tree and it's either gone one way or another. Not had much love. And that is a beautiful drive. What, uh, what did you throw there? That is my red bolt. Why do I even need to ask that question? I feel like that's the answer every time. <laughs> Hold on, Jamie, look at this. What is... Th We've got our first follow flight from Flexline Media. That is incredible. We need, definitely need to see more of that uh, in upcoming videos. Yeah. It looks like Morgan here is going to offer that backhand shot. He's hugging it nice yeah. and wide here with the hyzer. Let's see if he can avoid those trees and just keep it straight in the fairway. Yeah, what that a is shot. beautiful. Morgan really bringing it back for this final seven. And keeping it clean with yeah. three pars and looks like this could be his fourth birdie for the round. Um, looking to put himself one over, which is yeah. not a bad start. Exactly, yeah. Demanding course. You know, anything around par is a really, really great score. This might have a tricky, tricky stance, but other than that, should be okay. Andy going Kiwi. Nice and wide. Looks a little short, maybe. Nope, oh, not yeah. with that skip. Part. What a shot. Uh, let's see a little dish shop replay on this. Um, little Kiwi coming out nice and smooth. No wobble in that at all. He had this nice and dialed, so it might hit a little bit short, but gets that great kind of two, three meter skip right under the basket. Andy, don't hit your head as you pick up your disc. Yeah. Johnny in the morning. Oh, Johnny also got over the straight line over the top. Oh, oh less conventional for the righty, but he almost drops it in. He gets the replay from Generation Disc Golf. What a great little follow, follow flight there. You'd almost be asking for the banking in, wouldn't you? How good would it be? Yeah, he got the uh, fortunate little bouncer. That's yep. something you do got to be careful of. Levi, confident forehand, taking an interesting route, but <laughs> hitting the, the pin <laughs> with his soccer ball Kia. What a shot. Look at this. Like, this is the kind of route that you only know if you play the course, like, Five times a week. This is Possibly more if you're a stout brother. Definitely a local line, yeah. Nails it. Um, Andy Davey uh, lining up a Katari. That's right. You got all these players' discs, didn't you? <laughs> yes, and, uh, um, and a park job. Uh, <laughs> what uh, a job. Disc shop replay right on the first hole. Here's Andy with that buttery, smooth forehand play. Katari, uh, just straight line, straight at the basket. You could not draw it up any better. Oh, and that little roll, cheeky bugger. I've thrown it a little bit low, so I've caught up in all those little bushes that are just below the basket. See what Beaks can do. That is perfect. My great shot. Really without getting great it shot. in, can you do any better than that? No, not really. And I think Flex Line agree, hence the uh, slow motion replay. Great slow-mo. And again, look and at that look water. At just, she's just hitting the bank of the hill and letting it slide up. That's exactly what you want to do. You don't want to come in full tilt in the air. You want to hit the bank and slide up to the basket. Yeah, you run the risk if you do hit the uh, top of the bank. Behind another tree, what's he got here? It's going to be a tough little upshot. Going forehand. Can oh, you make it beautiful. through? Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, wonderful. That was a great touch. <laughs> See that one again. Oh yeah. That was a How did he manage to miss that tree? And that looked like it was uh, I believe that was his P2. P2. All right. Yeah, a little forehand P2. He's held a great little line there and just floated right past everything. Ah. Uh, Morgan, man. He's really going to want this. Bit of a tricky lie here being wrapped against the tree there. He's on a great run. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good pass save by Morgan. Great pass save. Let's that watch that one again. Well earned there. A little flutter as he just lets it go. Catches the chains. Nice Happy. one, Morgan. Happy to save that one. Definitely. There was so much rain over the weekend that a lot of puddles started forming on the course as well. So they definitely had to come into play. Look at that. Nice little, almost an air bounce from uh, Andrew there. That was a beautiful shot. And we get a Gecko skip. Sports replay. Let's see the line he takes. Oh, loving that follow flight. Beautiful. Just skipping over that puddle. 
<laughs> Park job. Park job. What a great bounce back from the, uh, the double bogey on hole one. That, that tree on the right is thick. Yep. John Pipe is oh one down the middle. My and goodness. As Ashton says, he is on. Going along of the basket down the tunnel. For anyone who's played this hole, that that's a rip. That's impressive. Bit of a hyzer flip to flat and just fading out. Drifting down. Scooting long. Oh, that's sick. So it does give him the eagle look. Here's Jack. Jack leaning back on that nuke. Jack's gone, he's turned this slightly more than Andy. That distance is massive. He just cleared that the green. That's a 160 massive. meter shot. <laughs> Roll it back. Like that was huge. He's He's got a edge of circle two look for Eagle. Uh, Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Please watch this. We have a full flex. Prevailing wind is left to right. So it's going to cater to pushing that disc out to the right, right towards that tree line. But he chose angle right. He chose disc right. And that is just smashed. Even gets the little help. Of, just look his look at his reaction. Woo! Look at his reaction. He loves it. He loves it. And so did we. I was sat in the gallery. And when that drive came down, the whole the whole gallery went crazy. It was great. Um, yeah, absolutely huge. Great to see a local boy putting it out there, showing Andy how it's done. He might we got Johnny probably going to throw that wide right and try and have a finish left, possibly getting the skip off the fairway. Throwing a destroyer, quite high, almost a spike hyzer into the green. Yeah, that's what we like to Skipping see. Skipping under the basket. Let's have another look at this on the Innova replay. Good power, good height, good angle. This is all the key components you need to throw a good shot in this hole. Exactly right. Perfect flight. And getting that really handy skip. I mean, if he didn't, it would still probably be a birdie, but I'm um, just getting that really fortunate forward uh, skip and landing even closer to the basket. Great shot, Johnny. Makes it a little bit tricky. Hole 16, the only hole on the back nine for this round averaging under par. Is that so? Was this floating around the basket? Wow. I mean, I guess, yeah, Ashton, what a great drive. And we get a Gecko Disc Force replay. Look at that follow flight. Little air bounce over the water. <laughs> Almost like a hydroplane. Down. Lovely just shot. Over. And he'll be uh, probably about five meters out, maybe in whatever zone, and then just pitch up. Justin yep. doesn't like to do that. He's going to go what? straight at it. That is huge. And can he get all the way up to the top? And of yes, he, he can. can. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, let's have another look at that. He's not even thinking layup to the side and take the birdie. He's just thinking, I might even just try to throw this in and go for the albatross. The power required. And it's still pretty high too. That was still a pretty yeah. high shot, which is very impressive. I was thinking more like from my vantage point from round two, he threw it like just dead straight at it, but that looked pretty high. Yeah. He's carving it up right now. Yeah. And a cortado from Jay. Nice flex. Come back. Yes. Oh, Smoke. straight under the basket. And we'll see another Bros for Change replay. I like that play for this hole, like that little flex out right mm. and fade it back left, straight under the basket. Yeah, there's plenty of space to play with. Why not use it? So here's Troy. He should be going to, that's it looks like his overstable Firebird. This looks okay. Money out the hand. And money on the ground. That's, uh, that's, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> dish shop replay. Let's see. Oh, from the catch cam. Beautiful little bit of flutter, but it's not too bad. Still cutting through the wind with that trusty Firebird. Apparently, he turned around and told Gwen this had gone. It was short. Uh, well, if it is short, it's only a few inches short. Yeah, uh, apparently so shorter than Ace, maybe. Where he uh, cross that path. Pressure's on Ethan here to try and execute the similar shot. Ooh, that's got some heat on it as He's well. Wanting it to slow down. Oh and my. again, <laughs> another good tree kick here as we look to the end of the cam. Wow. Got a great flip up. That was thrown with so much confidence. You could see he wasn't liking it initially, but mm. very fortunate tree kick there at the last moment. Put him right wow. next to the pen. Man, that tree kick could have saved him in this tournament. Goodness gracious. Two strokes separating them. A lot of OB. This is going to be a real heart stopper. Let's see how it plays out. Mikey on the tee. 
Confident rip. Just giving it some height. Oh, this looks awesome. It's just parked it up. That wow. was Wow. Let's watch this again on the end of a replay. He's just got such a smooth forehand action, barely any flutter on the disc. Gives up some nice wide space, knowing it's gonna hide it back towards the green. Wow, you're just watching someone who knows his discs so well and knows how to throw them as well. Okay, pressure on Ethan here. Yeah, this is gonna be basically the drive that comes down to his win. Similar angle for him. He's hung it wider than Mikey, giving it quite a bit of height. This has got so much height. Oh, and again. Yeah. What a match by Ethan. He's executed. Wow. And we get another replay. Let's check out Ethan's. Much higher and wider than Mikey's. But, I mean, he can control it so nicely. Wow. He basically just had to defend his win on the final hole. And Holy mm -hmm. moly. And it very much came down to this back seven. On the green, he's only got a four meter putt. Solid shot there by Ethan. Roddy's removed himself, ready to make his shot. He's gone with a nice low line under the branch. Smart play, keep it out of the wind. Right there. MV all day. Yes, there you go, you guys. Oh, generation disc golf replay with Envy and for Roddy. Oh, we've got the follow flight, look at that, straight at it. What's the sort of flight pattern you expect out of an Envy, Adam? Oh, uh, that one there. Nice and straight, slight fade. Yeah, Maybe. do they turn over at all? Uh, when they get worn in, they flip up a little. Sure thing. Camera yeah. point, that was pretty lucky. And then low opting for that right line and absolutely crushing it. That is not an easy line to take. You've got to manage your height so well to, to hit that line. And she just makes it look easy. And not only that, the power. I mean, it's just skimming across that, that bollard there. You've got the power. Uh, with the creek just behind the basket there to contend with. If you go too long, it just skids away. Um, that was picturesque. Yep. So you got to watch your distance and control it on this shot. Unsurprising. Not an easy yeah. lefty hole, and he's made it look easy. Unsurprising you went to the forehand. Yeah. Um, and we're going to see a replay. Forehand skip shot. Just getting enough of that gravel yep. to get the reaction. Yep. He's found his way right into the green. Great shot. Great line. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Pin height, almost there. And now low. Oh, Lorraine, this is picture perfect. She wow. absolutely parks it. Wow. You can't do much better than that. No, you can't. And hey, flex line agree. Even with the uh, the flight tracker. That's uh, two now. I'm loving this new feature. It's amazing. I can't wait to see more of it. Love it. Yeah, I love the placement of this basket on the uh, the old uh, golf or the, the current golf tee. Johnny going over the top of the trees. This is a Star Atlas. Call and go in from Jasper. Yeah, great Not bad shot bed. Johnny with the replay. We're going to get a drive replay thanks to Signature Homes with the follow flight. Love that flex line yellow. It's beautiful. There just like go. that drive. What beautiful. a drive. Just like trees, what trees? I'm just going to go over them. Get you there. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> Didn't really make the island. Cam does. Lovely. I think that was a uh, buzz out of Cam. A well-deserved Bros for Change replay for Cam. Nicely played, using the um, wind direction to his advantage, just letting it fade back in. That like be a scary putt, but a fairly close putt. Yeah, hopefully we get some really good runs here. Oh, he's coming in a little low. Is he going to get to the, yep. the edge? He's going to get the water skip. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Max in the basket. And he's going to collect a generation disc golf replay for that one there, the old water skip. He must have had a word to Chris at Flexline Media and told him that was the play he was looking for, and he deserved the replay for that. Fantastic shot by Matty P. One of the most iconic holes here at Paradise. This hole hasn't changed in a long time. I think it's one of the originals. Looks like Mario went rock. He's going to go straight at it. Love the play. Oh, yes. I love the play. Beautiful. Oh. And that is about four meters out. That is awesome. Mid-range. And we're going to get a replay. Check out that disc flying in front of the Southern Alps. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It just slipped up so nicely and just held on that line. I mean, 100 meters. 
rock mid-range, just beautiful. A little bit downhill, plays it perfect. See Steve going with a forehand. Definitely along the line, is he? Yep. Not 100% sure what he threw there, possibly his pig. Maybe we'll get a slightly closer look at it with this Generation Disc Golf replay. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I believe that's his pig, and that's a very smart choice of disc for that hole. Very reliable, and you know what a pig is going to do every single time. Check out Before the Creek, which plays as OB. Yeah, There's no, two routes on this one. Yeah, they've cleared a lot of the, the brush out for this route that Nathan's taking now. And you're taking full advantage of. Definitely. That was a phenomenal throw. Yeah, We're going it's to see not a replay. As, it's not as easy as Nathan makes no, it look. No, not at all. Um, you've got to really watch your height control, throwing from up top to hit the gap just at the right angle yep. and the right height. Um, but I think that rolled far enough out that it, he'll be safe. Oh, what? Jasper into the ground with a massive skip. <laughs> what? Probably... He's landed in a spot where you would want to land for a normal drive. With the sick follow fly. That is the, insane. A skip that probably went further than my drive. <laughs> so that was an undertaker out of Jasper. Threw it into outrageous. the ground. And I wonder if that was intentional just to show off. He was like, well, I can do this. Oh, he's just flexing now, isn't he? <laughs> they won Division in 2019, and he ended up on the feature card. Sorry, not the feature card, the big gun shootout. And here he is again, right near the top of the divisions, just playing his heart out. So good to see him back up here. And there is Stephen Reed, absolutely lacing one. And here's the Generation Disc Golf replay. What a fabulous shot. Speaking of fabulous, that mullet flowing in that breeze out there. See his blocks flying in the wind there. I'd be remiss if I didn't bring that one up. Yeah, it needs a mention. Absolutely. Ashton on the tee. He's throwing his cortada again. Almost kicks over the sign. <laughs> yeah, almost tripped over it. Oh, getting a great reaction. Almost as if it was dry. That wow. was awesome. Great shot from Ashton. And we get a Gecko Disports replay. Another fantastic follow flight. Look at that. Getting Stock, some, hyzer, yep. little air bounce, little mm. skip. Wind reaction, a little loop on the ground there and curls up beautifully, probably about five meters out. With an open putt as well, that's how you want to play the hole. This was a very attackable hole, um, obviously quite short, but um, it does have the hazards, which does make it kind of exciting. Again, Levi here opting for the hyzer backhand here. Oh, and that's nice lovely. Respect. Good roll there. Here we see on the end of a replay. Nice we spike hyzer. With the Kia. Such an important shot to have in your bag, just a controlled spike hyzer. Gets a nice flare skip on the little hill just in front of the basket and curling up nicely. It, it says 86, but it um, felt like it was uh, playing a little bit longer. Li li yeah, a little <laughs> bit longer than that, but um, I believe Jay went around the course with a rangefinder, so maybe oh, it's yeah. just my, oh new, my new gosh. Lump. That is beautiful. And he's getting his money's worth with his Brace for Change replays. Absolutely lacing his cotare down the right-hand side, getting a great shape and just skipping perfectly under the basket. Jay is no noodle arm. That's uh, a smash out of Jay right under the pin. No shot. They're leaving it either short or a bit long so far. Johnny with the righty. Skip hand. Skip hand. Skip in. Oh, I didn't hear about that. That was a great shot by Johnny Ferrari. Yeah. Look Just at that, he's throwing ground. Yeah, he's throwing that super low intentionally for that ground play. Look, the double skip up, flares right by the chains. What a fantastic shot there by Johnny. Perfectly caught that wet bit of grass there. Yeah. It's looking good, but just perhaps going a little bit too aggressive on the disc for this hole. Great from Ashen, that's a tactic out of him. And of course, we're gonna see that one again. Well-deserved replay here, but a smooth form. Straight at it, little any flex, little bit of fade, heart job. Just a touch of wind, so good stability to fight that. And right next to the basket. Indeed. Yeah, they're all going Great straight line. down the middle. Fantastic. Oh, oh little pole touch for Ben. That was beautiful. Great, Great control. Yeah, nice and wide. A little bit of turn on the way in. Perfect strength. Wonderful. Great shot, Ben. Here we go with Chris Dixon. Yeah, Chris. Get in the hole, 
nice and wide. Yes, Chris, put it right oh, up by the basket. What an absolutely fantastic shot there by Dixon. He, get, the he, and he gets the replay. Yeah. Generation Disc Golf replay with the follow flight. Yeah, nice and high, perfect angle the whole way. Yeah, that was an absolutely fantastic shot there by Chris. Um, perfect, even. Yeah, it would have been a tailwind today. John's ripped Oh, this that. looks incredible. Get around that flex bush. He's got oh, around the flex bush and into circle. He's parked it. That is outrageous. And we get a bros for change replay to watch this in its full glory once more. Love seeing all the replays on this footage. Really. So, that was a nuke uh, out of John. The same one that he almost reached the, the mouth of the green on, on hole 14. Up, Hutton. Here's Matty P with the forehand out. Yeah, he's a little bit closer to the exit. But he said it. Yeah, he's looking right at the basket room there. It's uh, just got to get himself into position here. Take it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Into position in the bottom yes. of the basket. Oh, outrageous Bring scenes. The bushes. Oh, we got the reaction cam. Wait for it. Oh my oh, goodness, look is. at him, arms in the air, he absolutely loves it. Well done, Matt. What a shot. Wow, that's that's the best shot we've seen out here today. Fantastic work, Matty P. Go, go get it. 